friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today for an unboxing. Now, these are two new releases from Diamond Art Club, and this one is actually from last week, but this one um, took a while to get here. I believe it was like, I think they were waiting for the shipment, so it kind of came with a message saying like it would take an extra seven days to come out, so I ended up getting these um, within like a day of each other. <laughs> I thought, why not? Let's unbox them together. So the first one that I will show you is Alice or Alice. This is by um, Sarah Mustafa or, or um, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess they have her name on there, Sarah Mustafa, but she does kind of, she has like a uh, Instagram handle that's like if of her name combined. Anyway, I'll put it down below. I love her artwork. I am seriously so excited that Diamond Art Club, I'm seriously so excited that Diamond Art Club is working with her. I've actually sent some images to their licensing department and I seriously have my fingers crossed that they have one that they that I've just, I've been sending to them probably so annoying um, for Halloween. Um, it's one of her witches and I saw it come up in the previews, like in the voting on the Facebook and oh my gosh, <gasps> I just hope everybody voted for it. So this is a round diamond and this is a 20 by 24 inch or 51 by 61 centimeter and it does come with ABs. On this box, there are instructions on the back and if you don't know how to diamond paint, I'm getting like such a head of myself here. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got our canvas, our toolkit, and then there is a sticker. So this little sticker comes and you can put this in your log book, in your planner, whatever you like to do with these little stickers. It's nice. I put mine on my box because I store mine standing up and that way I know right away which box is which and I also actually store my diamond paintings when finished in these boxes or the boxes they came in so this is really helpful to be able to tell um, what are the finished diamond paintings you know after they're done so this is your typical round toolkit and let's look at that you get Okay, I think they're giving more baggies. I need to go and count those at some point because I had, before I counted, there was about 15 baggies, but I think they've at least doubled, at least doubled the amount of baggies. There is a pen, a soft squishy for your pen. You've got two things of pink heart wax and a skinny four placer with your boat. So, that is a very nice toolkit. Everything you need to start diamond painting. Um, I know some people like different waxes, but I honestly used the pink wax for most of, yeah, I just, it's the stuff that comes with it and with the diamond painting kit, so I use it. <laughs> I've moved to like blue heart wax now, but still, I'm, I'm like, pink, pink wax is good too. Um, inside of our kit, oh, she's so pretty. You can already just see. Oh, can, can you see the color in those drills? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this one is a little bit rolling in. This is a poured glue canvas. So you can roll this backwards. Now, if there is an opaque cover on the diamond painting, there's a good chance it's double-sided adhesive and you do not want to roll it backwards. But the clear cover on the front of the painting is a good indication that this is poured glue. Of course, diamond art clubs are all poured glue, so you don't have to worry about that. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, there are 51 colors on this diamond painting. I will check the stick. Great, and the cover comes up great. Um, let's see, it looks like there are four ABs in this. 
So Diamond Art Club um, does their AB drills below 150. So 149 and below are going to be AB drills. That's a good way to look. Okay, and this one, oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. So this one has five S310. That is so different. I am used to it being their typical black dot that they do. So that'll be really interesting. Wow. Um, and you know, this one just, just doesn't feel like the largest paint. I mean, it is a 51 by 61, but this is just a really good manageable size. I think for those that don't like the extremely large ones. Um, let's go. Of course, I do have to mention that there's a code at the bottom of your canvas. Um, that always look for that. This one can give you 10% off. I've had other canvases that have given more percent off, but I don't know if they do that anymore. Um, this does mention that you have a lifetime warranty on your canvas as well as free missing, um, or, issues with your diamonds. I know some people that have like spilled their diamonds and um, Diamond Art Club has been really helpful to them as far as replacing those drills. Let's go ahead and look at these drills. Let's get this one out of the way. <laughs> so we have got 3814, 597, two bags of that, and then this lovely 141, which is our first AB. So um, this AB does stand for Aurora Borealis. It means that there's this shiny iridescent coat on top of the drills. Just makes them shine, and especially in 141, man, they just make your image pop and the white around it. Okay, let's. I guess we'll start with the smallest bags because those are the ones that come out first. And we've got a little friend visiting 728, 3776, 740, 898, 133. So this is our next AB, this pretty coral orange. 900, 3727, 129, our third AB, this lovely yellow. 103 is our fourth AB, and this one is a more coral radish. Look at the two. I guess it's more orange and then more of a red. 666, 648. Oh, we've got another visitor. 498, 647, 413, 317, 3024, 779, 775, 3848, and 3810. We've got 758, 3772, 3824, 823, 823, or two bags of 823, 938, 519, 939, two bags of that, and then we've got 3808. And our last bag, three. We have got 738, 445, 355, 3770, 3860, 841, 357, 3864, 3847, 310, and 754. So just a medium bag of 310. Okay, so she is just so pretty, and I just love these tones. Did I not even show this sticker? We've got our step-by-step -step instructions on here. There's another code in here if you're interested. And then we do get this sticker that gives you all the details and shows you the picture. Now, I love having a large picture just to reference in my logbook. So what I end up doing is I cut 
um, this part off and then I put these on my containers. As you can see, they're individual stickers, which is very nice for kitting up. I love the blues and greens in this picture. So gorgeous. And let's look and see where the ABs are going to go. So first off, we have the um, orange, I believe, one. And that is going to be right here. I'm just looking at the image. So yeah, it's going to kind of be in, in some of the colors here. And it's going to be in, let's see, do I see it anywhere else? Um, I mostly just see it accented in the hair right here. Oh, and then right here in this braid. Oh, and right here, is that her ear? Yeah, in her ear. And then a little bit up here. So that that's where the ones are, just sprinkled in. We've got two is the yellow, and that one is going to be, let's see, I'm just guessing that it's going to be like in her hair because her hair is yellow, but I don't see, I can see four. So I guess we could just do that. The white AB is going to be all here in the highlights very lovely you're gonna have the whites and the highlights of the hair and you know what i think that the two is interspersed so it's gonna be a lighter two that comes in by the fours and maybe that's why i couldn't see it but i can definitely see it like right here and right here and right here and then the other the three is going to be in her eyes and in her lips and in parts of her hair down here in some of the darker areas. So, um, and also I do have to say that the whites are going to be up here in kind of like the, the um, <laughs> sparkle bursts, you know, in the background, as well as this crown that she has on her head and then in her eyes. So, this is going to be a very sparkly painting. Now, I do have to say that I think that you could have some fun with some more colors and things like that. And I want to actually do this painting probably rather soon. I'm actually thinking of doing this painting in August. So um, I don't even think I'm gonna put her back in the box when I finish doing this unboxing. I'm gonna hang her up in the closet, ready to go for next month. But um, I just love the blues in this one. Let's get on to the next paint. Okay, so now we have a Sakura Festival and this one is large. This is a 37 um, by 25 inch, no, a little more than that, by 95 centimeter by 65 centimeter with ABs. And as you notice, this box is different. This is a square. And I am not a usual square person, but if a painting um, just, I love it, then yes. I will get the squares because I don't, I don't hate squares. Just normally prefer rounds. So your toolkit is going to be basically the same, except that you are going to get these tweezers. And they're very sharp, so be careful around them. I've cut myself a few times, poked myself. Um, so. Well, this is a heavy painting. Let me tell you guys that Alice or Ellie's painting was so light compared to this one. Like the first one, we do have a little sticker, which again, I will put on box. And I do, um, I store my rounds and my squares in separate places. Well, I mean, they're in one closet, but they're on separate sides just to, you know, keep them me knowing what's what. I wonder if you guys do that too. Do you, when you store your diamond paintings, do you store them by company or by shape 
or how you know um, mine is by shape and then by company so this one it's going to be this way and there's looks like there's a little bit of something on the canvas right there but I wonder if it's just dust that was like in the package. I mean, it's fine. The canvas is soft as ever. Oh, there's even more, a little bit more dirt on there. And so like, as I'm opening it, I'm like, ugh. Well, I'm glad that it's just on the back side of the painting. I've actually never seen that before on a Diamond Art Club. Um, it's fine though, if it's just on the back and it doesn't affect the painting. Okay, wow, this one is huge. So we have got our sticker sheet. So funny, this one is huge, but it is only 45 colors. It looks like there are four ABs and this one is going to just be stunning when finished. Um, let's look, you got your instructions and Look at how beautiful these drills look. Oh my gosh. It's like a pink rainbow. And <laughs> a huge bunch of pink and then a rainbow in here. That's going to be pretty. So um, we've got our, our lady in a kimono and with a, a kitty cat. And I just love the lanterns. I love the Sakura Festival. Um, like the cherry blossoms, all that. So pretty. Um, it's, it's funny. My husband is just re-watching some of the Rur Rurini Kenshin. If you're an anime or manga buff, he's watching the live action videos and it's just giving me, <laughs> this picture is just giving me, um, total Rurini Kenshin vibes of like Kaori, you know, or Kauri, Kauru, um, walking down the street or something. So they are really putting all of their drills in one bag. Like all of these drills was in one bag and I'm never going to get them back this pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Um, yeah, let's turn this over and look at these drills. See, I, I just have to say, I'm like a little bit, that, that wasn't me, that. <laughs> um, but it's fine. Okay. Look at these drills. Okay. So, we have got, ooh, this is a pretty pink, 894, 820, 322, two bags of that, 890, a very good green, I like that one, 915, two of that, oh, three, 327, 956, ooh, that one's pretty, 814, 600, two of that, 312, two of that, 718, two of that, and 3550. Pretty purple. We have then got 3371, 832, 743, 740, 3772, 3811, 413, 321, 742, 124, which is our first AB. Like I said the Aurora Borealis coating. So pretty. 838, 132 is our second AB. That's going to be so pretty. 352, 351, 136, our next, our third AB. Ooh, that's pretty. And 128, our fourth AB, another really lovely light pink with the visitor. Or no, that's not a visitor. That's just coating on the back side of the drill. 904, 895, 3705, and 355. We have got 
five bags of 9.39, and we've got 3608, 4.98, two bags of that, two bags of 803, 334, two bags of that, 606, 947, 3607, two bags of that, 602. Two bags of that, 519, 823, 123, bags of that, 601, two bags of that, and one bag of 310. So that is your drill. So, guys, <laughs> I have to tell you that I am actually planning to do this one as well. So, if you're watching this video, you're getting a spoiler alert for my month of August, but I think I'm going to be doing Alice and this painting as the paintings that I'm going to do new while I work on catching up on all my other whips, um, as I've mentioned, but I think I'm going to focus on these two, which are just going to be fun and um, fun for me, I guess. <laughs> so let's look and see where the ABs are going to be. Okay, so one is... Yeah, you're going to have it in here. Oh, you're going to have all your pinks all in here. The one and two are your pinks, the lighter one and the darker one. It's going to be all along these areas. So I don't know if you can see that on the trail. It's going to be here um, and down here. And then I was trying to see if there's any up in the trees, but I don't actually see any ABs up in the trees. But... Um, I do see in the lights. So your yellow AB is going to be in these lights in all around the streets, in the lanterns. That's going to be really pretty. And then the dark blue for it's going to be in the darker outline of some of these buildings. And um, like the roof there. Just trying to see... Um, if it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be like in this area, in the darker parts of the roof. That's going to be pretty. Oh, and it's actually going to be here, up here in the sky amongst the cherry blossoms. So that is going to be really pretty. Um, as far as this goes, I haven't really thought of what exactly I want to do, um, jazzing it up, but... I do, I am curious about switching out, uh, this is an AB, um, but I'm curious about switching out some of these lights with um, the new crystal squares that Shimmering Canvases has, and even Deep P with Sparklers has some, and I think that might be really neat, and um, I don't know, as far as else, I wonder if, you know, I think that this cherry blossoms will be really pretty and I wonder if they intentionally didn't put any ABs in there because they wanted it to look really blended. Um, but I do wonder if you placed in some, I mean I know I have 3607, 3608, definitely um, two of the lighter colors in there. I have those and then let's see I definitely have 600 and 601, which is some of the darker colors in there, so I could experiment with that. But um, overall, this is just such a pretty diamond painting, and I'm excited to work on both of these. So I will catch you guys. If you haven't, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also go check out, if you haven't, my video that I'm actually giving away a canvas from Crafties. Um, definitely go and enter that and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! <laughs>